today's video is a little bit different and I am in no way, shape or form bashing the app TikTok or people who use TikTok or people who are on there. I use TikTok, okay? I do it almost every single day. I've done it a lot today because it's one of my days off. My kids are kind of down with the cold, not feeling so hot. So we're just all like relaxing and chilling. So I was like, I'm gonna make some TikToks, right? But in this video, I am gonna be bringing up some like concerns slash things I'm questioning, I guess, that I'm confused on just a little bit. One of those things is I didn't even know that witch talk, like hashtag witch talk. Um, I didn't know that was the thing when I first joined TikTok. I literally just got on there for the fun of it. Oh yeah, if you see my son running around in the background, do not mind. He's just playing while mom does her thing, so. He's there. Oh, are you freaking joking me? You guys have the worst timing. Um, I didn't know which talk was the thing when I got on TikTok at all. I just got on there because I was like, hey, new social media platform. Everyone's doing it. Why not give it a shot? It could be fun. And it blew up to say the least. I think I had double the amount of followers I have on Instagram on TikTok in like two days, which Kinda pissed me off, I'm not even gonna lie with you. I was, well, not even, didn't piss me off, it just blew my mind. I was like, here I have put like literally, I think two or three years into in my Instagram and I've gotten a little over a thousand followers, which I am so grateful for all of you. Don't think I'm not by saying that. But then like in two days on TikTok, it was like over 2000 people and I was like, what the fuck? And that's when I learned about witch talk. So witch talk is the like spiritual and witchy community of TikTok and people who like to post witchcraft related TikToks. I post a lot of ones that are humor about tarot and witchcraft personally. Um, I try to be lighthearted on there because one of my concerns and one of the things I wanted to bring up is people can be freaking mean. Like I know people have haters and people say mean crap on every social media platform. But when I tell you that people can be really freaking harsh on TikTok, I mean, they come for you and they have no mercy when doing so. So that is one thing that I honestly, that made me nervous and make me be like, should I do this? Cause I see, I always kept saying people like complain, Faye was a huge debate on TikTok. People were talking about, you know, like you aren't supposed to accept offerings from a Faye. You're not supposed to give them offerings. You're supposed to do this. You're not supposed to blah, blah, blah. So it's really a lot of people's opinions clashing in my, opi like in my opinion. Um, I feel like it's just people not respecting each other's beliefs and boundaries and what they personally do on their path. So when it comes down to it, I really feel like people just need to have respect for each other and that's all. Now, the other thing that I had no clue about that I learned about after Witch Talk, when I thought Witch Talk was the end of it, I thought that was it. And I'm like, cool, I'm gonna meet some really awesome like-minded people, make some little TikToks, be funny, goofy, um, share some advice and tips with each other, which I have and it's fun. I do. A Tons of Dollar Tree DIY tips, like ways that you can get witchy stuff on a budget from the dollar store, cause I work there and I know what the goods are. So I did not know about witch court. Yes, you heard that right. I said witch court. So apparently somebody decided to make like a court of higher ranking TikTokers in the witch talk community that would foresee and set the like rules and dynamic and keep the peace within the witch talk community, which some people on one end were like, oh my God, that's a really good idea. That's great. You know, we'll have some structure, some guidance, stability, cool. Whereas you had the other 50% were like, that's bullshit, it's TikTok. You can't make up your own like rules and witch court, like who do you think you are kind of attitude. And I can see both sides of it. Like honestly, like I can see where people are like, oh cool, hopefully it'll help make people be less judgmental and maybe stop attacking each other just because they don't believe the same things. But also I think it's kind of weird to also tell people what they should and shouldn't be saying or doing on TikTok because we all have our own opinion and all that and that's good. But like I said, when it comes down to all the end of it, when it comes to witch talk in the, tic the witch community of TikTok, I just think people need to be nice. Other than that, I personally have not had any hate or been attacked on TikTok at all. I've had people make suggestions politely and be like, oh, hey, 
maybe put out a disclaimer that like this works for me but it doesn't necessarily have to be for you and like I'm not trying to push myself on you which I agree and that's why I actually put in my TikTok bio that I'll show right here how all of my practices and tips and all that stuff are based off my opinion and that's not me trying to tell you that's what you have to do because I would never want to have people think I'm trying to shove my beliefs down their throat when that's why I got into witchcraft was to avoid that from some experiences in the past of the organized religion. And like I said, all of the things I said or like if it tried, if it seemed like I was trying to make witch talk or TikTok be like be a bad thing or seem like a bad place, can't talk. That's not what I meant to do and not for it to come off of, come off as, oh my God, I need caffeine. Okay. Um, I'm not trying to make it seem like the witch talk community is a bad place or an unsafe place. I think it's great, especially if you're like a quote unquote baby witch and you're just getting started on your path and could use some guidance. Um, really awesome people on there, whether you're pagan, Wiccan, eclectic, um, doesn't matter. I think you'll find somebody and a group of, or a group that will fit you really good on there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you did not, then I guess I won't be seeing you again. As always, I really appreciate when you guys do subscribe to my channel and I'm actually doing a giveaway on TikTok. The easy way to enter is if you aren't subscribed to me already, hit subscribe, then go over to my witch. <laughs> I've been saying witch talk too much. Then head over to my TikTok and find this video right here and comment this emoji. And then boom, you've entered for a free tarot reading. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and I love and appreciate all of you. Mwah.